welcome to another edition <coughs> of EMAC2411 on YouTube.com. Like the video, subscribe, please. Thank you for clicking in and watching. Um, so basically, WWE is being sued by the family of the original WWE or WWF, uh, Doink the Clown, alleged wrongful death. So as seen on WrestlingInc.com, according to the Dallas Ruff, or Dallas Morning News, um, uh, the family of the late Matt Osborne, who is best known as being the first and longest running professional wrestler to portray the character of Doink the Clown, uh, filed a lawsuit in Dallas, Texas on Friday against the WWE. Now, Osborne's widow. Uh, Michelle James is listed as a plaintiff along with her two children, Matthew and T. on Osborne. Um, in the lawsuit alleging ne ne negligence um, and fraud related to mistreatment of Matthew Osborne, which ultimately <coughs> resulted in Matthew Osborne's wrongful death. Not what is stated in the lawsuit. No enforcement of knowledge of the risks to which it subjects its wrestlers. By script, on a daily basis, W took inadequate steps to correct the problems or to address the injurious conduct. The full consequences of which are still coming to light. Indeed, W continues a course of conduct designed to mislead wrestlers and decided to mislead Matthew Osborne until his death. But in, about the injuries they sustained while wrestling for WWE by failing to disclose pertinent facts or offering misleading truths. Now, the, the lawsuit alleges that Osborne experienced traumatic brain injuries that resulted in depression and drug use, which ultimately resulted in his untimely death. Osborne was found dead on June the 28th, two years ago in 2013, in the Plano, Texas apartment he shared with James. His cause of death was, was determined to be an accidental overdose of morphine and hydrosodone. He also suffered from heart disease, which was a contributing factor in his death. WWE World Wrestling Entertainment attorney Jerry McDevitt has said that WWE is being targeted by attorneys who tell wrestlers and their families that there are hundreds of thousands of dollars to be made filing concussion related suits. He tells the, da the Dallas Morning News this evening, the suit is no different. That's just another one in a long time of legal filings aimed at drumming up people looking for NFL money. Now, they're all different from the NFL. We never had anyone claim that they had these kind of injuries until these attorneys did it. They find that this... <coughs> This to two people who have no money and told them there's money to be made. That's what that's what is going on, said it. And I feel bad for these families because they think they'll make money off of this, and they're not. When Asbor died uh, two years ago, WWE issued a statement reading, and I quote, WWE is saddened by the news that Matt Asborn, a.k.a. the original Delink of the Clown, has passed away. A rugged brawler in promotions like Mid-South Wrestling and World Championship Wrestling. Osborne made a major impact in the WWE under the grease paint of a prankster named Doink. One of the most enduring pushanas of the early 90s, our deepest condolences go to ours with family, friends, and fans. Um, it is alleged in the lawsuit that Osborne began wrestling in 1985 after being approached by the WWE chairman and CEO, Vince McMahon. Now, this is incorrect as Osborne began wrestling in 1978 for various national wrestling alliance territories, most primarily for Pacific Northwest Wrestling. He joined WWE in 1985, but primarily competing as a preliminary wrestler. Now, the highlight of this stint was losing to Ricky Seba at the first WrestleMania, held at Madison Square Garden. Now, the Dallas Morning News coverage of the story, including the entire 72-page lawsuit, is available in the link in the source proof in the description of this video. Now, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I've had a busy day, busy schedule, busy few days. I've been able to come on here. I like to give my views and opinions of this stuff. Um, now, we've seen many families in the past do this to them, sue them, you know, lawsuits over the families of them. Yet, sad, it's horrific, and it's obviously, I'm not I'm not being sarcastic. It is, I mean, obviously, anyone, if anyone does my opinion, it's sad to lose someone, you know, especially your, a friend, a family member, a cousin, an aunt, uh, an, aunt um, an uncle, um, you know, a husband, a father. Um, now I do know he's on the cloud, I've watched, I've seen him, but I don't know exactly if that was him because a lot of people played Doink to the Clown in the WWE, or WWF, World Wrestling Federation, um, this guy, um, I don't know, I might have seen him, but, uh, there's so many, like you've seen, you know, I don't know how old he was, to be honest, but I didn't really follow his career, like, that wasn't really a big, I mean, I wasn't around at that time, but, um, all these people, I mean, that are just sued for WWE, 
try to make some money, they might get lucky, they might make some, but they probably won't. Like, believe me, like this is my opinion. When you when W wants to sign you, they give give you a deal, a contract, right? Right? Um, they give you a contract, you sign the dotted line, give your signature, and all the the terms and conditions are right there. If you get injured, if anything happens, they're not responsible because you know what you're getting into. Yeah, you can say it's fake, it's whatever, scripted, it's whatever. It's not because people have died from WWE when they're in the ring. This is, I mean, if it's so fake, why do, I mean, I'm just saying, if it's so fake, why do people, I don't know, die from it and their families think it's from the WWE, even though it's many, many years ago, but, I mean, maybe it's had something to do with it, but they shouldn't be sued. That's the only thing. Um, I don't know, man. A lot of us whose families have done this. I'm not gonna make any money, and I mean, I don't expect anything big to come out of this. This guy didn't really do anything. I mean, there's gotta be, but. It's actually two years ago, so the, tomorrow will be the two year anniversary. We've seen this, I think, Viscera, I think. I've seen this from people, so, uh, family. Because I just came back from the fireworks show, well, it's a festival, you see, where I live. But I was there for about six hours. It's from 4.30 to 10. So it's no bad if you hear fireworks in the background. So that's why I just got home. I'm going right to my job, so what I love to do around here is YouTube.com. You guys are what I think about now. Uh, I got time now, so. But, you know, it's sad that he died, but. It's gonna be it, guys, so thanks for watching. Um, you know, thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much for all you do guys. You guys do for me. It's all about the subscribers. And I do it with you guys, so, um, you know, like th like this video, you know, share share this video. Uh, leave a comment of what you think about this, you know, your opinions. And, uh, make sure to subscribe for more news, rumors, and highlights about WWE and even wrestling in general and other stuff want to know about it so yeah this is emac24101 on youtube.com on this channel i'll see you guys later